What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about the Jerry Garcia micro bends. So let's go. Also, again, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're up to date on all the lessons, videos, and all that fun stuff. So let's go. Cool. So today's lesson, we're focusing on one of my favorite Garcia techniques, and that is his micro bending. Jerry wouldn't really do a lot of like, I guess, whole step bends. And personally, his vibrato was very not my favorite, like very shaky, like, right? Kind of weird. But his ability to approach a note by bending from a half step down was just incredible. So today, that's our objective. How we can approach these micro bends and how can we put them in some of our favorite songs. So let's go. So for today's video, let's focus on being in the key of E major. Right. The notes in our E major scale being E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. So what notes are our more approachable notes? And if you guessed chord tones, hell yeah, congrats. <laughs> Let's focusing on approaching our E, G sharp, B, and E. Root, third, fifth, octave root. To approach our first root, we can approach it one of two ways by climbing up that D sharp and doing a slight bend up and we get to pitch we can add a slight vibrato if we want to make it more Garcia-esque we can do something like this. Where he would hit his root or his target note, in this case being E, pull off, and then bend up from a half step below. So essentially he's still playing E, E, but one is his literal playing E, second is being approached by a half bend, half step below. Effortlessly cool. The next note we can approach, our third degree, is G sharp. I approach it like this, where I would climb up to the fourth degree, this A, jump down to this G, and do a slight bend up to resolve the G sharp. Right? Like that. Right? Oh, 
awesome. Approaching the SPI, we can do one of two ways. Hit our B, pull off to this B flat, and then bend back up. Kind of like Jack Straw, right? Or we can just do... Climb up, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B flat, and resolve to be natural. Or which is very jack straw. <laughs> If we look now at our octave E, we can do, right, pull off to D sharp and add a bit of bend on top and we'll resolve. This octave one in particular, you have to approach really strongly. And make sure you're muting the strings that aren't being played because the last thing you want with this kind of technique is excess noise. At that point, it just sounds messy, right? And when you feel comfortable, you can play your scale and add these micro bends wherever you feel like it. can really add a bit of, how do you say, a little more finesse to your playing. And even more fun comes in when you know how to maneuver during different scale shapes. Right? Because even though you're approaching the same notes, the thickness or the timbre of the notes could be slightly different. Like this G sharp. Approaching from G. Half step up to G sharp is more bluesy. Right? We can also approach our B. Whole step up and resolve, right? We also do our G sharp 16th fret of the high E string. Let's say something like this. Right? Something like that. If we want to approach our fifth degree, the B on the, what is it, 19th fret of the high E string, something like this we can do. Always resolving to a chord tone or a root of the scale. Am 
Micro Bands, one of Jerry Garcia's, how do you say it, uh, finessing skills. <laughs> well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the Jerry Garcia Micro Bends that he would do. Um, a really, really cool technique, kind of like a cool technique that he would do that I think when you guys practice it more, nail the vibrato when you reach your approach note, right? It can land a whole new, more finesse in your playing, if that all made sense. <laughs> so with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.